Hey everybody, KC here. So a couple of months ago, when it became apparent that I was not going to be going to Portland for the summer, uh, that I was going to be spending my summer here in New England, in Connecticut, uh, Mrs. Content Guy and I decided what we were going to do is there was this little place we really liked, little motel up in Chatham, Massachusetts, on Cape Cod, right on the beach, and we love it. And so we said, you know something, let's go up there for four or five days. Uh, we'll make a reservation. We made the reservation knowing that we had no idea what the situation was going to be like with the pandemic, but we figured, what the heck, we'll take a shot. We just made the reservation, and about a week, week and a half ago, even as the numbers were looking really, really good in, in Connecticut, I looked at, at uh, Mrs. Content Guy and I said, you know, I don't think we should go. She said, why? I thought things were getting better. And, well, here's the thing, because I, I read so much of this stuff. I said, yeah, if, if, well, here's the t here are the two scenarios, right? First of all, if things go bad up there, we don't want to go. But if things are going well up there and there are not a lot of infections, we don't want to go because that's when people start getting sloppy. That's when people start making mistakes and that's when things go bad. And I said, I just don't think we want to do it. Plus, we were going to do it two or three weeks before she was scheduled to go back to school. So we figured, hey, it, doesn't, it, uh, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So I canceled the reservation. They were very nice about it. They completely understood. They said, oh, no. and, and I said, apply it to next year. Keep the deposit. Apply it to next year. We'll go up in 2021. All great. So it ends up, I was just reading online about how a COVID-19 cluster has emerged in Chatham, Massachusetts, after at least 10 people who attended a party there just a week or two ago ended up being diagnosed with the COVID-19 coronavirus. Apparently, there was like 30 or 40 people who attended this party. So roughly a third of them tested positive for the coronavirus. And the amazing thing is, is that they almost all work in the restaurant industry. So it was after work and everybody went out and they partied. And apparently there were nobody was wearing masks. At least one third of them have come down with it. They're still doing contract uh, contact tracing to see if they can they want to track down everybody who was at the party. And the restaurants... Well, the restaurants where the people work, they have to be apparently, according to the rules, they have to be closed down for 24 hours and completely scrubbed clean. Anybody who was going to come in contact with them, even if they've tested negative, have to uh, quarantine for 14 days. It's a mess. And it's all because people didn't take it seriously. And, and listen, you know, I know I'm being a nag about the mask thing, but it seems to me this is a perfect illustration of how you just get a little bit relaxed about this thing and things can go badly and all and and it has like a domino effect it's the thing we all have to be careful of whether we're whether we happen to be living and working in a part of the country where right now things are, are going south or we're living and working in a part of the country like i do where things are pretty stable you have to continue to be vigilant because the minute you're not the way this virus seems to work things can go bad like that and the repercussions could be enormous in both personal terms and economic and, and commercial terms. So I'm begging you, just be vigilant. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.